Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Rick. My videos today from Alpha Central. Tried to kiss him and instantly got friend zoned. My man. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Let's get that chow. Chat that. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected and men stop simping. Now let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. This is how to change a hubcap. Part one. Go! <laughs> Strong and independent women. Don't need no man. Go. I can't believe he just like broke it. You know, if something just isn't happening, maybe that's because it shouldn't. Take this as a PSA of what not to do, ever. Am I pretty? Yeah, why? What's up? You really think so? Chill out, I don't like lying twice. <laughs> <laughs> I call that a good man. One. Making good conversation man. and delivering a punchline. Do I hate workers? Yes, because we said like we're Christian. You were like, no, you're not Christian because you guys do old If you claim to be a Christian, but you do X, Y, Z that are against the Christian faith, well, how's that even hating on you? It's not, not in hating. the Bible that you can't do Yes, it is. Fans. And well, yeah. Fans back in those okay. days. Let's use the word lust. Is lust one of the seven deadly sins? Yeah. Okay, so by virtue of you doing is that creating lust? Um, no. <laughs> Fucking lying whore. You see it in her face. <laughs> Hold on. Just think that question through again it's in your okay head yes. and then just re answer it the I correct mean, maybe, way. Maybe, maybe, I guess. Didn't you say men can't have is like empowering? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is so that's it? lust? That's lust. That's eliciting lust. I guess. I'm still like Christian though. Go to church and I pray. Before or after the. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, trying to find loopholes to validate something doesn't fly here. Especially OF. Just stand on business without twisting facts. Are you letting him smash on the first date? No, because I'm not that easy. What do you mean you're not that easy? I don't want them hit the first night. What if it was an NBA player? I mean, you, you would, you would let him. You see that, guys? NBA player. Yeah. Time thing. Because I'm not that easy. Apparently, all it took was one little nudge and she came falling off her high horse. Damn. Now, if you miss this one, I'm not going to talk to you for a whole week. <laughs> Oops. Better Guess not that say shit. A week off. <laughs> Why is dating so hard? Social media got these chicks thinking that they got something they don't have. So they only, they only when they bread Jersey. and then turn around and be oh mad. i just realized it's the daily wrap-up crew that he's interviewing Jersey. when them type of dudes who got a bunch of money Jersey. want every same to turn around and pay it pay chris brown a thousand dollars to take pictures with him you nope. feel yeah. me see hold they, hold they, they, they hold on hold on hold on they charge hold on hold on hold on they charge broke to chill with them but the more money you got the less you got to spend see women only want to deal with dudes who don't have no opinion that's why you see a lot of these bad chicks with these goof soft because we ain't gonna challenge them on nothing. Yeah. We ain't gonna ask them no questions. Any man that got his own taken care of, don't need their money, They're don't right. need their right. They don't wanna deal with that. They want a that they can talk too crazy and disrespect them because they don't want no structure. They scared of real men, you feel me? Because the real men ain't gonna let them talk crazy and do all that goofy dumb so, Modern day men are more feminine no, that more than ever. Definitely. Correct. Truer words have never been spoken. Social media filters and simps make up the trifecta for delusion and vanity. Rise above, brothers. You can't choose women based upon money. Women shoot. Women pick men off solely off love. God. Ooh. And this is a social worker, y'all. I, I I mean I'm to the point to where I don't even want to make any jokes because this is so sad. It is. It's the truth. You're, no, ma'am. You are danger, and you advise other women. I do absolutely yes. I do. 
Absolutely, yes. She's really trying to tell everyone that women only pick based on love and men only pick women with money. What world of delusion is right. she living in? What would you want his income to be? Rest in peace. Rest in power, the Godfather. The shit he dealt with, the shit that he... Was able to open up people's minds, a lot of men's minds. I miss the man so much. Be five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Is that bad? It's bad. Okay. So you said you want 500k, but what do you think the median income is for a 30-year-old? 60k, 70k? It is forty-five thousand dollars. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Poor people, ew. That's what y'all make. How do you live? What about the top 1% of men at 30? Well, I thought it was 500,000, but you said no, so four, 400,000. 338. Oh, and 30? If you're making 338, you're top 1%? Damn. I thought it would be a little bit more just because both men hit their financial stride in their 30s. I mean, 338 is still okay. Four <laughs> three. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's acceptable. <sighs> this is a sickness. It is deviant. Therefore, we don't want it. Relationships shouldn't be your ticket to living the life you've always wanted. That's what your whole life was for. You look good for 95. Man. That cost. I don't run behind big. Y'all, young men, y'all be screwing all these. Idea. That's why y'all come up with arthritis and rheumatism, your eyesight go bad, your hair starts coming out. When you are, are, are over yourself, you bring arthritis on your skin. Every time you drop that seed in her, yeah. your bone marrow and all that stuff from your head to your toe goes inside of her. And when you have a girlfriend, who always falls asleep first? The man. Uh, yeah, I fall asleep. And when you wake up, she done stole your wallet, stole your car keys, she gone about her business. Yeah, I gotta get that. Well, you better put in. You have to eat right. Eat Stay right. away from McDonald's and Burger King. Don't drink sodas. No Agreed. soda, no McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the biggest you can eat, but stay away from that. Then go marry that woman. Don't stick your no. up in her. You don't know what Ooh. disease she got. 95, but he doesn't look a day over 60. Talk about good genes, a healthy lifestyle, and morals he's been willing to stand by from day one. Now that. That's the secret to a long life. But I'm genuinely curious why y'all are saying no to marriage. Divorce laws, child custody laws, your body count, biases in court for women. You have trauma from probably a broken home. You wanting to be a strong boss, babe. Independent, don't need no man. So the incentive for a man to settle down and get married is non-existent in the Western world today, for sure. Because why? The video might end, but the list goes on and on and on. Time to acknowledge the truth and stop hiding behind feelings and emotions for a change. Do you guys remember that episode of SpongeBob when Squidward um, ate, ate all the Krabby Patties? Yeah, I'm gonna end it right there because I don't. Less discriminatory and more discriminal for holding up the rest of the passengers till she got on. Ah, uh, when was your last relationship? July 2023. Okay. You still keep in contact with that person? No, I do not. He right. stole my dog. Oh, he stole your dog? He stole my dog. You got any kids? No kids. No kids. How many kids you want? About three. When are you trying to have them? Whenever I get married. Yeah. My man was running through the standard questionnaire. He probably gathered it up after one too many bad experiences. Hey, Dad, I got a question for you. Yeah. What's it like being married? Why don't you just leave me alone? Jeez, okay, sorry. Hey, don't ignore me. An amazing life lesson that will be learned over and over and over again. Once you hit 30, mm -hmm. no offense. No, why would Why girl, would a man go for a 30-year-old right? when he can have a fresh 21-year-old that... Okay little story about my divorce and my dad my dad kind of called me a bitch <laughs> i admit it because i was so simpy i was so blue pill with my ex-wife and he knew it he saw it but he also couldn't do anything about it right because remember i didn't fall on my face yet so my ears were fucking plugged so after my divorce he was just like 
you know, I can't believe you let her waste that much time of your life. I can't believe all these things. You need to fucking man up. That's what my dad told me. It was pretty devastating at the time when he told me this because I was just like, oh, I'm being a bitch. I am being a bitch. It was devastating that because I knew it was true. That's why it was devastating. I needed to get myself back to what I used to be before my marriage, before everything, and then into a new era of being more masculine, being more understanding of how the world works, being more driven, being more purpose-filled. I, I get it. But fathers, even though he didn't instill these things when I was younger because he was too busy, he still attempts to do it now because he knows, at least at the time, I was still struggling. Okay. Men look at it as, oh, she's 30, which means she's older. Mm -hmm. She's been ran through. She's tarnished. Um, she's hardened by all the relationships. So she's lost her feminine. Oh. She's mm -hmm. masculine. That's what I want to ask. Wow. You know, oh, she's men good. think about these type of things. Right. And it's very unfortunate that women don't realize that mm -hmm. until they hit 30. They want to be in their 20s and be like, oh, yeah, I can Whoa. this guy guy but they don't ru realize you're ruining yourself you're ruining and then you're yourself. trying to find yourself and by the time you're 30 you're like where have all the good men gone not oh, to you shit. because oh. you ran through yo mm. damn men get to want to someone who fits their ideal just the same as women gets to demand a man who makes a million dollars a year does size matter in a guy yeah so we're gonna measure your waist come on hold, hold it right here she's judging guys based on something they can't change you can change your waist size yeah that's the point oh, you're failing boo, boo. You know, this was supposed to be him schooling the women on what can and cannot be changed, yet somehow they schooled themselves and still didn't get it. Right? If you want your house clean, hire me a maid. Okay. No, Realistically, no, yes. No, no, okay, no, fine. No, yes. No, no, no. You want me to clean? I agree. I'll hire the maid and I'll marry the maid. Boom. Oh. I'll marry the maid. <laughs> oh, do we know she's tied up. She's done lots That's of stuff. That's the question. That's the she's, question. You know, she's on the time of the month. Of course. And she's like, can you please help yes, me with I the dishes? Yes, I will say to her, of course, I'll do the dishes. By the way, you got the rent this week. You're taking <laughs> the mix. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She thought she'd give him something to really... The feminists that are from other countries are the worst. I swear to God, the minority feminists are way worse than all the other ones because they've been in that country and they just want to destroy our country thinking that it's dissimilar to their country in some way, shape, or form. Really think about, but they've heard the same arguments before. Time to come up with something new. Hey. Hey, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool, but yeah, my name's Taylor. <laughs> you said left. <laughs> my, my name is Levinson. <laughs> Pretty sure she stood by after the video cuts off because third time's gotta be the charm. Ladies, don't be nice to ugly men because they wouldn't be nice to you if you were ugly. Really? And where is this coming from? Coming from a former ugly girl, mediocre girl, I've been all of it. Yeah, indeed. You are mediocre. And I've reached the, I guess I've reached the good looking. I'm, somewhat, I'm considered good looking now, a little bit. Well, they do say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. They're way nicer to me now. In fact, I can say really mean stuff. I can be demanding and they give me what I want. Gee, I wonder why that could be. All you have to be is hot. They don't care. Oh, I don't know about that, but let's continue. So, um, treat them how they would treat you if you were ugly. I have a better idea. How about we treat people based on the type of person that they are? Can we just give people a level, a level base of respect, please? It's a level. We're not giving them ultra respect here. We're just giving a level base of respect for everybody. And then once they open their mouths or show you something or do something to either lose respect or gain respect. But there should be some base level. Not everybody should be starting off in negatives here. Rather than based on what they look like. <clears throat> if they're going to be that demanding of us, of just basic human respect and kindness based on our appearance, then we should do the same. What happened to treating people as you would want to be treated? Right. That must have gone the same way as manners. And don't tell me you're watching this video because you like my face, man, because we know you are. Oh, here we go. You don't even care about my attitude. I just bashed the out of you. And you're going to say what? Oh, she's so cute. I know how you work. I have a guy, a guy on here said, I want you. Why? Why do you want me? And now that's genuinely a good question. Because I'm cute a little bit? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah, guys might want a woman based on how she looks for the now. But based on her attitude, that will determine if he sticks around. You know what the takeaway message should be? Be nice to everyone, except someone who goes off giving you toxic energy from the get-go. How many baby daddies you got? 
Jeez! Come on, man. He's like, I'm done with this show. That's the real world example of walking out of a situation that you know isn't gonna end well for you. I like this girl, she's funny. <laughs> oh, she looks like a monkey. <laughs> Everything you see she online is passed through a couple hundred filters, photoshopping tools, and then edited for that last bit of oomph before making its way online. My you done? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh... Sheesh, talk about a tough crowd. <laughs> Look, <laughs> men can have preferences too. Them having a type is neither unfair or harsh. Because y'all pay bills, y'all can do whatever y'all want. You think because y'all give me I can pay your bills? You think because you give me I can take care of your kids? I'm supposed to teach your son how to goddamn catch football this Ain't caught a pass all season. Oh, cause you gave me some. Oh, I'm supposed to get your ass laid. Oh, I'm supposed to buy this a PlayStation 5. You've been playing PlayStation 2 for the past 10 years because you gave me some. How much? How much do you think that that God gave you for free is worth on the goddamn market when every woman got? It? So yeah, if I'm paying bills, I got some. Next. Now that right there is a man speaking with raw emotion. The same old attacks against men, and it's about time we respond to hypotheticals with the truth. I don't suck, but I expect to get my to eat. Is that a problem? If you ain't gonna suck my you cool with me going to get my sucked by somebody else? Now you can see men are natural born problem solvers. Like she gave them a problem. Modern solutions, I mean modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> and they came up with a solution. Now she's got another problem. Are we liking to admit it or not? Let's take away the food stamps, let's take away the section eight, let's take away the Medicare. Medi I actually did an episode with this with Jack on his on his channel about welfare. Okay, let's take away the WIC. Let's take away y'all um, daycare, daycare services. And let's take away the transport. Let's see how many daily moments it is out here. Okay, let's see how many of y'all can still take care of y'all kids. Yep. The truth hurts like a gut punch. Fathers get blamed a little too readily for every problem under the sun. And it's about time we play the Uno reverse we've been saving. She's trying to explain to me why she thinks women are smarter than guys. Women are smarter than men. And we live so much longer Gosh. too just because we're not stupid. Like. For example, the summer... I'll, I'll give them that, The We do a lot more dangerous, stupid shit. I'll give her that one. There is no women on the submarine. Well, there's nothing to clean at 13,000 feet at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> Ouch, she tried to come at him with a real thinker, but he fired back with the old classic. Couldn't argue with that, not one bit. Women don't want a man who is- We don't care. We just don't. Every day it's something new. Plus you got the Wolverine nails and the bathing suit profile picture. We already know the opinion, irrelevant. You know why they're so long? Because it helps them dig for gold. Dang, that's super tough. Amen. Don't need more videos of women telling everyone what they hate in men. Just say you hate men, clean and simple. When she says that she takes things slow and is an old-fashioned or traditional woman, that's a statement prepared especially for you. She gave it all away in the past with zero questions. Now you're the lucky one who has to pay for it. Do what Tom Likas says. Tom, really hard. that... You have to dump her! Man, never compromise on your time and efforts just because a woman thinks you should be the sorry sucker who has to deal with the fallout from some other guy. Value yourselves enough to exit a bad situation when you see one. I'm a feminist, and I don't okay, hate so men. Okay, so you are a self-described feminist. What is a woman? Why do you want to know? I'm infinitely what, what, curious. What's a man? You're looking at one.
she walked up to that mic ready to become the viral sensation that took him down. Um, many have stood where she has, and they've all failed, just like she just did. Say hi. Hi. Hey guys. What is this video about? Um... My girlfriend. You didn't tell me that? Bro, what do you mean? Like, you don't... Bro, you're like a sister to me. Why would you kiss me? You didn't even tell me that. That you had... I had a girlfriend. Like, what... Bro. But, like, why would you kiss me, like, randomly? Like, that's, like, weird. Like... I don't... You know we're just friends. Like... Yeah, yeah, no. It was just... It was just for... It's a prank. It's a... It's a prank for you. Delete that... Bro, what the f what is wrong with you? The man stood on his square, stayed faithful and loyal. My man! Kiss me, bro. Testing a man's boundaries for clout and views has got to get old at this point. About time we treat everyone with respect around here. Shout out to that kid. Most people would probably go in for that kiss still. So for him to be, no, I got a girlfriend. What the fuck you doing? Men are learning at a very young age. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Get you a subscribe.